What's up guys? Let me know where you're from. We're going to get started in just two minutes. I'm just going to send out a couple invites to my buddies. And if you're not tuning in live on June 3rd, just skip ahead to the five minute marker. We'll get the show started. Be right with you. What's up guys, Sean here from Shooting School. I make the most elite tune track tutorials on the internet. Welcome, welcome. What do we got? We got 16 people here. This is gonna be a slow stream, not a slow stream. It's only a few people here. Well, I guess you guys get more attention today. So what do I wanna to do? To, you know, I had such a sleepless month. Life is so busy. I decided to, to, today to do a tutorial instead of kind of like a freestyle Q and A, but I'm still accepting questions. So pop them in the chat if you'd like. We're just gonna try and build a song from scratch, which is why I kind of feel like I'm in a hurry. Who the heck's gonna build a full song in 90 minutes? Uh, maybe, maybe a half a song, something like that. So um, who do we got here? Joe, what's up, dude? You've been commenting on my videos lately, man. I appreciate it very much. What's up, Nicholas? The Sin Knight, of course, is here helping me out. Thank you, Anthony. Nicholas is from France. Maybe this is your first time here, Nicholas. I don't, I don't recall a Nicholas from France. So hey, welcome, dude. Jim, great supporter. Great to see you, my man. Jim actually speaks French, but not from France. I believe that's Jim's story. Hopefully my muscle memory's working. Patrick from Pennsylvania. What's up, dude? Welcome back. Peaches, long time. It's been a couple, it's been a couple months, many weeks, at least. John, another fantastic supporter from Chicago. Uh, Daniel from Chile. What's up, dude? Welcome, Daniel. We got Daryl from Indiana. Welcome, dude. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, John, Jim, and Daryl, thank you so much for being a member. I appreciate it. Uh, you can uh, look on my channel, go to the membership link, and get exclusive videos from me that the public doesn't see. That's why you see little extra icons next to their names. And if you're watching this stream, not live, but after June 3rd, just expand the little chat box so you can see all the links that I provide, which will be of valuable information. See if I can catch up here. Got Danielle. Oh boy, Italy, awesome, welcome dude. Um, I don't recognize you either, so welcome to the channel, or maybe I just have bad short-term memory. Uh, I'm Dante, welcome dude, and thank you for being a member, always participating, commenting. All right, are people showing up? It's still only 17 people, I think. Anthony, do you see that number? Um, I'm preoccupied with the crap I got in front of me. Uh, Mr. Shiny, welcome, thank you so much for being a member, man. Oh, it's your first live stream? Welcome, yes, and let's rock. Do, 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 first live, not replay. Okay, Nick. Who do we got? Who do we got? That's about it. I'm going to try and get to it. I think I'm through all the messages. Maddie B. 
Uh, you're working right on, dude. Well, hey, thanks for swinging in, man. I appreciate it. Laying a comment down here. That helps the stream. If you, you know what, if you don't have any questions, you just want to say hi, that still helps me out. You know, YouTube sees that and manipulates their evil algorithms and decides to recommend me to other people. So, um, oh, I'm still full screen, man. I haven't used this in a month and I'm still asleep right now. All right, let's do this. Um, actually, I should pop these uh, memes off for a second. Um, check out on Facebook, uh, great Tune Track resources. If you go to Facebook and you type in Tune Track users, that's a great group for all Tune Track products. Check them out. If you go to Facebook and type in Tune Track Easy Drummer Group, that's a great place for easy drummer users. Very polite to newbies as well. I hang out at those two places maybe once a week, something like that. I try to participate. Come down to Shooty Schools Tune Track Speak Easy. I show up there at least once a day, provide as much support and socializing socializing as I can. I've got a Discord group. Um, if you know what Discord is, come on down, swing in. We chat, socialize, support each other there. Check out shootyschool.com for my entire catalog of free videos and some full course content coming soon. Uh, Tune Track News, okay, my YouTube channel. Oh, and if you hear a voice come out of the blue, that is my good friend Anthony. He is the Synth Knight. He's an EDM composer, lyricist, and he does a bunch of cool other EDM geeky fantastic stuff like video game programming tabletop make game making and all that stuff so um do check out and support my buddy because often i mess up this stream and he's the guy that gets me back on my bearings this is anthony's uh facebook page um if you're on facebook give him a like man he's a he's an awesome dude we go way back and uh we're also collaborators as well this is just something i'm gonna maybe cover next month or something like that so is that about it for spamming the intro? I think so. I'll check the chat and we'll get started. Gotcha. Well, it's going to be a, a lighter stream uh, from an audience standpoint. The crowd's still growing, but that's okay. That's just more attention for you guys. And I'm just doing my best to keep up my schedule um, of trying to stream once a month, the first Saturday of every month. Right on, Dante? All right. So, I forget how I phrased it, but I'm going to attempt to do not a full song. I said a full song, but you know what? A song could be two sections, so let's, sure, a full song. I'm going to attempt to do a full song, and this is, a, of course, it's geared towards beginners, but it's, it's hard for me to solve my problem staying in a beginner's realm, so we're going to bounce in and out of a beginner tutorial to an intermediate tutorial. Hopefully I don't go too crazy. We only got well actually I'm doing pretty good. I spewed all that crap out in six minutes So I still have you know 84 minutes to do a full song and I'm still blabbing away. So maybe we'll get pretty far from with this but it's Beginners video we're gonna hop into in intermediate areas to problem-solve as well, but you know what? Uh, just thinking off the top of my head um, My videos let me go first. Maybe that'll trigger it first. Yeah, right here. I'm going to drop this in the chat. If you need the absolute beginner video, this is it right here. I'm going to paste in the chat for beginners. Crap, hopefully I spell such an easy word right. <laughs> it's been a long month, guys. If you need the absolute beginner video, it's that link in the chat. And this, what we're going to do today is... I'm imagining the lesson number two. It's the, the lesson right after that, okay? So it's going to be cool. And um, a way to look at today would be if you own some tune track products, doesn't matter which one except for Easy Mix. We're not doing that. Superior Drummer 3 workflow is going to be exactly the same as Easy Drummer 3, so that's interchangeable. If you own any of the four core instrument programs from tune track, You'll be able to get something done by the end of this video, and we'll also cover it. And like I said, we're going to problem solve a little bit too, so I'm sure some of you veterans will learn a couple tricks and, and be amused. So let's see what happens. Easy keys too, man. Whew. Oh, there is some news. In there. That's why I had this page up. I totally blew it off. Easy keys too came out. Duh. Um, let me not waste a bunch of time talking about it. I've put out, what, four videos already on it? So. If you guys want to check out what I've done with Easy Keys so far, um, Keys 2 vids. Yeah, check that out later um, after the stream's over. 
or whenever you got some time. And remember, once I stop my stream, this live chat with all the links in it, it goes away for a couple hours. I don't know, YouTube like wants to make sure there's no terrorist threats in there or something like that. And uh, then it'll reappear. So if you don't see the all the links right after the stream, it's, you gotta wait a couple hours and it'll show up. It's got a render or something, I don't know. Um, so Easy Keys 2 came out, it's fantastic. Um, we knew that for the past two months anyway, that it was gonna be, we already knew what was going on with it. Uh, two new Easy X expansions, that's one thing, all right. So I don't really like a series of expansions. I, it would have been cooler if they named them two completely different things because I feel like that might even hurt their sales because it looks so similar, but they are not similar. And um, I already did an overview on the first one. So if you want to check out, what's it called? Signature, come on, spelling. Signature part one, easy X. I already did an overview on signature part one, easy X, and I'm gonna release uh, my overview on signature part, signature part two either tomorrow morning or Monday morning. So there you go, uh, signature part one, the sounds, woo! Um, I just opened it up on the default setting. I clicked on the toms and I was just, after five seconds, I said, this is going to be a good experience. And signature part two, it's, it, I wouldn't, I don't know if it's equally as valuable, but it's completely different. The contrast, because it comes with so much crap. It's, uh, um, rods, brushes, alternate percussion, almost 50 presets, nine kits, uh, and so on and so forth. So it's, they're both really cool, but they're not the same, even though they were all recorded at the same physical location, but different studio rooms. Anyway. Oh, John, I replied to you earlier before I started the stream. So, and actually I just said it. Now, you know, um, part two's coming out. My overview of part two's coming out um, do, 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 tomorrow morning, if I can finish it tonight. All right, that's it. I need to get the show on the road because I got a tall order and what did I waste? Now I officially have 79 minutes. Let's get a full song going. Hope everybody is doing fantastic today. And if you're actually paying attention and you just didn't turn it on and let the stream run out of sympathy voter just uh, support me, do, do shoot out some questions, especially if they're related to what I'm doing at the moment. Because if Anthony interrupts me and says, hey, here's a question relevant, you know, we could take a break and, and give you some attention. So all my meters look good, so I assume you guys can hear me. There's a background soundtrack still going? Hmm. Nope. Hey, now we're ready to work. Fucking glad I looked over there. All right. So we've got a rhythm. So I'm not playing guitar today. We're just using tune track software. Easy Drummer 3, Easy Bass, Easy Keys 2. So since I don't have a guitar in my hand, I need a lead instrument. So I'm going to work with Easy Keys 2 first because I don't know the vibe. I don't want to start with rhythm section. And I don't have anything in my head yet. Sometimes if I have something in my head already, I'll start with rhythm section. But I'm going in completely cold. I have no clue what I'm doing. When I'm streamed, I'm unscripted. This is almost the only time you get me unscripted. So <clears throat> let's do, uh, let's open up Easy Keys and you hop over to the Grooves tab. If you only bought Easy Keys and you haven't blown all your cash on all this crap like I did, you only have this folder over here, Easy Keys 2. And by crap, I'm just having fun because you guys obviously know I'm a fanboy. I just don't want to count my investment out or I might <laughs> realize I should have bought a new car or something. All right. <clears throat> if you only bought Easy Keys 2, you'll only see this Easy Keys 2 folder that I have highlighted. And I'll stay in this folder for this video so anyone can follow along if they wish, okay? As for the drum stuff, I might mess around <clears throat> uh, and expound a little bit. But uh, I'm starting to get a radio voice here. Let me mute the mic real quick so I can cough. All right. Yeah, I should do some voiceover work today <clears throat> in a dark world. Um, the seventh planet of Jupiter, where they only speak tune tracking. Oh, here we go. Oh. Got to get the movie trailer voice. <laughs> Actually, Anthony, it's funny. Anthony's definitely shorter than me, but his voice drops so much. 
Anyway, oh, that was Anthony, by the way. All right, <clears throat> I'm back. Let's rock and roll. <clears throat> I guess my voice a little scratchy today, so forgive me on that. Here we go. So the Easy Keys 2 MIDI library, I'll stick with that. And if we, as it breaks out into the next column, we'll see riffs, which is just some typical, you know, typical, yeah, riffs on a piano. I guess, I guess riffs exist on a piano. Arpeggios, which is just a chord, except you hit one note at a time and you do it in a particular sequence. Ostinatos is a, a phrase that repeats often. Pads, I actually don't know the definition of pads, but uh, most typically it is a long drawn out chord. Usually that ne develops over time, but you might have your own definition. So, and then at this point down here is where we go ballads, pop rock. We're starting to get some genres and some songs and we're gonna find a song. I'm gonna find a song that I'm comfortable working with completely unscripted and live that I feel comfortable with and we'll just pick that and then we're gonna be off to the races. Hey, maybe if I finish this and, and uh, no, I'm not gonna finish this where we got uh, 75, 60, 75 minutes. Let's, let's go, 75 minutes. <clears throat> I'm gonna work in 4-4 four four because I'm more comfortable with that under pressure and under the ballads let's just maybe a ballad be easier for me as well so let's go flying high at 61 bpms actually let's take a break if you're open in easy keys there's going to be one to two one or the other first thoughts right if you have a song premeditated in your head and you're ready to make easy keys work for you you want to do two things. The first thing you're going to want to do is select what key you're working in down here, because if you select that right out of the gate, all the MIDI will play back in that key and you'll already be, be being efficient right out of the gate. Okay. And another thing is, is it tempo? Yeah, sure. Tempo and um, time signature. So it's three things. If you're already premeditating what you're going to do before you open up easy keys, select your key first. It makes life easier with all the features and options. Select your tempo, not here, but in your DAW. And, whoops. And if you're using Easy Keys MIDI, which I assume you are, unless you're live jamming, I would select the time signature you're willing to work in over here. So I'll just select 4-4. Four, four. I know I'm going to work in 4-4. Four, four. So anyway, that's what you do if you're working a premeditated project. If you're doing what I'm doing today, which I'm actually opening up Easy Keys because I want Easy Keys to inspire me. I have no clue WTF I'm going to do today. Then the first things you should do, which is an alternate plan, is go to the Grooves tab and select Original Tempo and Original Song Key because I want to know um, exactly how these studio musicians who recorded this MIDI, they're humans that recorded this MIDI, this is not programmed data, this is live performed data from pro musicians. I want to know their intended feel and the key, their intended tempo, which intended key, which provides an intended feel. So now I'm going to select those two, two buttons, original tempo, original song key, and now let's get started. I'm going to go ballad straight. I got two song options. 61 BPMs feels really slow. It's, I hope I don't like this because it's so slow. It's, it's harder to make pockets feel better that are slow, especially if you're gra using different virtual instruments that had completely different humans performing the MIDI that did not have each other in mind when they recorded. You know, faster tempos, uh, you can get away with a little more. But, but anyway, let's just see where we're at. And I'm talking fast today, but I did, I am on my second pot of coffee. It's a small pot. I'm paying attention now. All right, so actually, before I sign, before I get rid of this, let me just check out a verse because a verse is probably going to have a much stronger statement, so you understand maybe more what the song's going to be about. Check out the verse of the chorus before I ditch this. As you become more of a, a veteran with Tune Track software, you're going to start. I suggest, if you're not, I suggest you might want to start looking at all these MIDI dots as you're hitting play. Because once you hit play, you get an instant vibe of what you're hearing. But instead of me waiting four measures, was this four measures? Yep. Instead of waiting four measures to hear that whole idea, 
I'm actually just pressing, pressing play. I'll listen for a second or two and get the vibe. And then I'm looking at the dots and I'm understanding pretty well of what's going to happen the next three measures so I can get out of there faster. And if you, so if you start watching those MIDI dots, whether it's easy bass, easy drama, superior, or easy keys, you'll start moving faster once you got, get familiar with what those dot little shapes start looking like. So if you see me just going from this one to this one to this one, I'm, I'm not being impatient. I'm, I'm just saving time and I'm using my experience of analyzing those dots visually and going, yeah, there's probably nothing there for me. And I'm trying to be time efficient. Anyway, uh, forget the song, not because it doesn't suck, because I need something that inspires me a little more if I intend on working as fast as I plan to today. So let's try a uh, melodic melancholy. That, that means sleepless. Mount Anthony, melancholy, if I've even, even said it, that means you can't sleep, right? He, Anthony's smart. He knows, he's an English dude. He knows what's going on. Melancholy means like you're kind of like blah, so to speak. Like you're just kind of stuck in a, in a state of being that just existing. You know, I like the, I like the name of the song more. Because I'm like thinking, because putting melodic is like a creative name and attaching it to something that I don't like is bad. But that's kind of cool. It's a little melodic zombie or something like that. Actually, this first thing right here, this seems like a pretty serious statement on an intro. Uh, maybe we'll get started on this. I'm gonna, so typically, this first groove right here is typically the simplest version of their intros that they provide. And not in all cases at all, but in the majority of cases, then they'll just kind of build off that lick as we go south. So let's hear how they build off it. Let's, you know what? Let's use this. I can't be picky today if we're going to accomplish full rhythm section underneath this. I'm going to notice I started this on measure nine. Measure, crap, my accent's coming out on measure nine. Let's see, trick. Maybe that'll trigger the video. Yeah, it's right here. If you want to know why I start my songs on measure nine, um, check out this video later. It's a, it's a great video. I got great feedback from this video. Check that out, okay? My intro's down. Now, let's see how long this takes. It's going to be hard for me to count. How many seconds does this take? All right, I'm at measure nine. Click on measure nine, hit a marker, hit intro. What was that three, four seconds? Took me three to four seconds to go. I'm on measure nine here. I'm on measure nine in my DAW. Let me put a marker in and mark it down. I get a lot of creative minds are super chaotic and don't want to do this secretarial crap. But five seconds times whatever. Maybe I'll spend a full 60 seconds this entire project putting markers down. That'll save me an hour plus of time easily as I push this song out from pre-production to post-production. So... Consider secretarial tasks like putting markers in. This is verse one. And let's go down to the verses and see what we got. And Anthony, you know that, let's check out chat for a second. I can tell I'm still wound up and not settling in. I am performing, I am getting it done, but I need some breathing exercises or something. Scott, we were chatting. Oh, you asked me something earlier, Scott. Uh, not even here. Um, Unfortunately, the answer is bad news. How can you audition a beat? If I hit shift play, I can trigger only easy drama three and not my DAW. Oh, I'm holding caps lock. Seems loud. How can you switch drum kits while this beat's already playing? You can't. There's going to be a lag. Um, you could probably buy a $4,000 computer and that lag will be really short. And then you could, it would be a better experience. But you can't. Let's just see how my computer does. I'm on a decent i7 computer on Windows. I'm not i9 yet. So uh, my computer could be faster. If anyone wants to donate 600 bucks, I'd be more than happy to get a i9. Let's see how my computer deals with it. And I have a decent computer. Going to switch to reverb. One, two, three, four. <laughs> my computer can handle that pretty darn well. Um, and what are my specs, though? 
Um, I got an i7 4.0. That's a pretty darn good i7. And I got 64 gigabytes of RAM. So um, that was actually, I thought it would be way worse than that. And on my office computer that I stream from, it is way worse than that. So that'll give you an idea how strong your computer would have to be to, to tackle that. Thank you for your question, even though you didn't even uh, put it in the stream. Um, hope you didn't mind me stealing it from our Discord server. If you're into Discord, check out my Discord server. Maybe I shouldn't read this right now so I can stay busy. Anthony, let me know if um, if, if someone pops in okay uh, with a good question. I'm going to keep the show rolling for people who care. Um, I put out my verse one marker. I'm in my verse folder. Let's find a verse. Don't worry. It's We're going to produce what we're doing right now. It's pretty obvious what the rest of this Don't is going to sound arrow like. through the kids though, right? What was that, Anthony? You gotta speak up a little louder to cut me off since I got my play. Um, Alagons asked, but no way to arrow through the kits, though, right? Um, all right, there is, and it's not easy. I haven't done it in a while. Um, it's a good question. Let's take a look in the settings. It's been a while since I thought about this. Where are you? Program change. Should be a program change button. Oh, allow MIDI bank select. It might be this. I haven't done this in five or seven years. Oh, I'm wrong. I did this for easy keys sound expansions recently. So, all right. Check this out. It's please be there. Hmm. That's odd. It's that's a you know what? Yep, you've successfully sidetracked me because I'm cha I'm opening up Easy Keys One. Easy Keys One. Here's the here's the presets right, and if you right click on the preset arrow, look, there's a MIDI Learn right there. So you can if you can get your MIDI controller to send a program change message instead of a MIDI note, then you can control those. Why isn't it in Easy Keys 2? This is the type of thing where you just put this in the feedback thread and said, hey, and say, hey, this used to be in Easy Keys 1. Can you do this? And they'll put it on the to-do list and it'll eventually be there. Am I in Easy Drummer? No, I'm in Easy Keys 2. And I didn't see it in the preferences, so. So, Scott, I mean, that's at least a lead for you. I feel like it's here, but I'm, I'm in a hurry, so I'm not taking the time to read everything in front of my face. No metronome MIDI input. It might be allow MIDI bank select, but it's still not letting me right-click in MIDI learn. So, you can probably get that going because it was a feature of Easy Keys 1. All right. Uh, thank you, Anthony. That was valid. Uh, we're in verses. All right, all right, that's all too aggressive. Let's let's remind ourselves what that intro sounds like because th this verse is like wailing an arpeggio right now. Um, I don't want to trigger my DAW, so I hold shift and space bar, so I only trigger the song track of Easy Keys 2 while I work in a DAW. Oh yeah, that's super low dynamics. So what's this first one? There we go. Done. Let's not be picky, you know. When you first lay in your song out, and this is completely subjective, disagree with me, and you're probably right for your own workflow. But um, try not to be too picky up front if you're hopping into a big project and it's step one. Get a bunch of stuff on the playing field and you'll get a lot more successful things happening and then it's easier to go back and produce that and rip the bad stuff out as opposed to me spending a full hour going, is this intro good? It needs to be the perfect intro. Is this first good? It needs to be the perfect verse. Forget that. Um, well, if you agree with me, forget that. Let's just get some stuff onto the canvas and let's just say we're painting with a pencil. We can flip it over and use the eraser as opposed to using a pen and saying, all right, I have to get it right right now. I mean... You're going to get two totally different products uh, depending on the path you take, or maybe you won't, but maybe you'll have two completely different ETAs on when you finish that product, right? So 
Try not to stop on easy things like choosing a simple MIDI file, because if you start grinding away for perfection too early on, you're going to lose your vibe and your mojo, and then you're going to be working angry, and uh, crap, that reminds me of my entire month. Yeah, I should take my own advice. Let's rock. I'm going to put out a uh, marker right here, uh, Shift M and Reaper. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm using Reaper today. It absolutely doesn't matter what DAW you're using. Let me put this marker in before I forget. The course one. And my caps is down. Awesome. Pre-chorus one. It doesn't matter what DAW you're using today because I'm only using a DAW to host tune track plugins. I'm and I and I this is not universal. You can do it one way or the other. I prefer to use the song track unless I'm doing like a major song uh, structure edit. And um, I usually still deal with the song track anyway. So doesn't matter what DAW you're using, as long as you know how to load up in a tune track plugin. And if you don't, just watch this video right here. Um, even though this is an Easy Keys 2 setup video, it loading a tune track plugin is relevant um, f with this video as well. This just shows you how to load Easy Keys. Easy Keys 2, load Easy. Thinking one thing, typing another thing, trying to talk at the same time, load Easy Keys. Even though this is an Easy Keys 2 install video that loads Easy Keys into a DAW, it's relevant for any TuneTrack product. That's what I meant to say. I feel better now. So we just got our pre-chorus marker out. Let's open up the pre-choruses. Now, all right, let's listen to what we just dragged down here first, because, you know, we got to turn on the headlights before we uh, drive in the dark, right? And I already forget what the heck I just brought down there. So there's no need for me to start listening to these pre-chorus um, MIDI grooves unless I have the verse in my head already, and I already distracted myself. So it's a waste of time to listen to these unless you're listening to what they're coming after. So I'm just going to preview this. Again, I'm not going to use Reaper at the moment, so I'm going to hold Shift before I hit Spacebar so I can play only out of Easy Keys 2 song track and on my DAW. So this is good stuff. Uh, DAW, frustra DAW frustrations videos. So there's so many complaints. Whoops. There's so many complaints about how not smooth navigating tune track software in your DAW is, they're endless. But um, these people also aren't taking the time to, you know, learn how to use how it was designed. And here's a great video to do that. I'll just call this DAW Frustrations. Uh, check this one out later if you haven't yet. Huge, uh, this is one of my really great successful videos. I can't tell if I labeled it. I didn't. Uh, frustrations and I'm typing so fast. Did I get it? Frustrations. <laughs> oh, sorry. Whatever. All right. So we're on measure 21 and we're all right. About to check out pre choruses, but we should get the verse in our head before we continue on so we're not wasting our time. Okay. Uh, shift plus space bar. All right. Arpeggiating eighth notes. Boo doo, boo doo, boo doo, boo doo. That works. Super dramatic. It's insanely dramatic. But that's cute. I'll probably use this, but let's move on. I mean, I don't want this much arpeggiating right now because, you know, we just, if you look at all these little MIDI dots here, I just came out of arpeggiating. So let's not, let's not bore the crap out of people more arpeggiating. All right, let's do this. I said I like this one. That's the pre-chorus. The chorus starts at 25, measure 25. Let's get our marker in, shift M, chorus one. We're moving pretty fast, I think. Um, what do you got? 133, that means 57 minutes, plus me saying bye and thanking everybody and being a nice guy. Uh, so 50 minutes left. Let's, let's attack this, man. Let's attack this. Let's go down the chorus. I put my marker in, yep. So it's still in my head, so I don't need to preview this. Let's see if it was still in my head correctly. Shift spacebar. Why isn't that working? Shift keys a little bunk. Am I dealing with an issue? 
I am. Oh, it's my dog's playing, I bet. It's my dog playing. Shift space bar. All right. I was battle. I didn't realize my DAW was playing, so I was kind of battling a play command while it was already playing. Set you back a bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little. Yeah. That sounds off. I thought I changed my tempo earlier. I must have hit some. Oh, maybe I didn't change my tempo yet. The tempo of, the song, of these are at 68. Dawson 68. I was wondering why, you know, I was thinking, -da 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 -da. I was right, but I was wondering why I was playing so fast. Now let's check it out. Here we go. We bang a chorus on this and then see if we can start turning stock, you know, literally material that's not mine. It's only mine because I bought it. But turn material that's that I bought actually into something, you know, custom that feels like something I created, not just something I put together like uh, a box of toy Legos, you know. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Um, what do we got? Uh, Anthony, what's the, what's the count? Because I'm... I don't want to get off these screens I got right now. I'm just curious if I got some people out there. And do comment and let me know if I'm holding your attention. Let's keep rocking. Let's find a chorus. Sitting at 41 people right now. We were almost up to 50 for a sec. Awesome. 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 Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for showing up. Big props to the first 17. And for those of you that are new to auditioning and easy keys, you know how, uh, or maybe you don't, you know, a keyboard's probably going to, in a, many cases, at least in this case, you're going to pad a chord in the, in the bass area of the keyboard, and then they're going to arpeggiate up here. So that's why when I switch between these MIDI files really fast, it's why they sound really plain all of a sudden. It's because that sustaining bass chord doesn't hit right away. You got to wait until, it's all these little tiny bottom dots down here which people watching the stream on a cell phone will have no effing clue what the hell I'm talking about you kind of got to wait a moment oh man I got discord audio this one sorry about that I don't even know if I want to fix it I think my discord audio is running over to um the stream oh, okay stay off my server guys just for just for a little while crap I need discord on because that's how um I talk with Anthony I gotta figure that I gotta figure that out next month, Anthony, so that doesn't happen again. All right. So anyway, these are really similar arpeggios. I can't identify the exact difference. Those padding chords are really similar, but the dots, the arpeggiating dots up top, they're slightly different. So these are just really similar things, except the arpeggiations may be just in a different order instead of one three five three one three five three. Maybe it's like one five three five one five three five. Say that like 20 times fast. All right, let's do this. That's eight measures. You know, halfway through this, it might be, I'm not going to do this now. Oh, and this is in front of my, here we go. Halfway through this, this might get old. I'm not going to do this now because I'm not sure how this song's really uh, developing yet. But you might want to go, all right, this arpeggiation works, but it gets boring for eight measures straight. I might want to slice it in half. And then, and then maybe, whoops, and then maybe use the other half of this guy right here. So it, it's because this arpeggiation is really simple. It's just in a different order. So maybe you want to do something like that. Whoops. You know, let's see what that sounds like running from this one to this one. F it. Let's just keep it. Here we go. Um, so there's my first official song donation structure. from John Ludwig. Ten dollars. Uh, oh shit! St stuff. Oh stuff. It's impossible to keep this uh, keep this stream uh, PG thirteen. I actually do my best all the time, but live when I get nervous, I swear all the time, especially on the stage, man. John, you are the best, man. You've been so kind to me the past few months. You're a member. This is not your first donation, man. I just 
love your morale and you encourage me all the time, man. There's a select amount of people like John Ludwig, which is the only reason why I'm still doing this right here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it so much. All right. Here's my basic song structure. Let's forget the bridge because, you know, I'm running out of time already. Remember, I'm going to duplicate a section. Now, you can selecting MIDI blocks and easy keys and easy bass, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You want to make sure your marquee, marquee drag starts at the very top and then you drags it all the way down to the bottom to get all three sections, okay? Or if you want to be more accurate than that, you can uh, shift select these instead like this, okay? So now that I've selected my basic song structure, did I do my chorus? Yes, I did. There's my chorus. Now that I've selected my basic song structure, I'll hold uh, control. It's probably command on Mac, click and drag. Bam. Why didn't that do that right? Come on. Oh, that's being fishy. Now it's there. Selecting is a little weird. Anyway, so here's the intro of my song. Here's my song, first song revolution. Here's my second song revolution. <sighs> Let's hear what this chorus sounds like real quick. Now let's hear this verse, shift space bar. It's gonna be like hitting a speed bump. Like, like not one, like a brand new speed bump that really has like a, it's not worn down yet. It's gonna go, duh, duh. That's what that's gonna feel like. Um, let's pop an interlude in there. The selecting's weird. All right, I'm gonna marquee drag instead. I'm not sure what's up with the selecting. It could be me spacing out or, you know, could be a bug or it could be me literally messing things up. Um, these these um, tools over here, one, two, and three, they're really important um, for working in, in the song track. And if you work in it as much as I do, you're going to get sick and tired of dragging your mouse over there. So it's the keys one, two, and three on your computer. Watch these little tools right here. One, two, three, one, two, three. I want number three. And let me just cut this intro in half because I want to create a quick interlude. Um, that didn't work though. I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to hold shift. So I slice through not only the, um, song part title, but I want to slice through the MIDI as well. So I'm holding shift, bam. Huh. This is not the first key command bug I had today. So something's a little fishy. Cut, shift. No, it's just not working. Undo, undo. Should I figure this out live? Typically for my streams, that's all we do. all we do is figure shit out. Yeah, something's not right with key commands today. Um, I mean, I do this stuff all the time. It's, it's you're acting up. Three. All right. Undo, undo. Oh, what? That's weird. I said shift. It's not shift. It's control and possibly command on Mac. So in order to slice through not only the song part title, but the chord and the MIDI, you hold control. Still a little rusty. Um, I haven't been using easy bass much and easy keys too is brand new. So I'm just a little rusty. So I want to get this sucker right here in this empty spot. So I'll select my arrow two tool, which is one, because I don't want to bring my mouse over there and actually select it, saving nanoseconds of time and kind of feeling cool that I'm so robust, you know, please my ego a little bit. And I'll hold control before I drag this out and replicate it over here to this blank spot. And now we have an interlude and just for some extra credit, I got to stop wasting my time and talking about all this fun extra crap. I'm going to right click on intro. I'm going to go to song part type. I'm going to manage user song parts. I'm going to select this color because I don't care what color it is. Oh, looks like I had this idea already. Right here, pre-verse. I already made this custom part. I wonder what I was doing the past few weeks. I made a user song part and it's called pre-verse and that's exactly what this interlude is, like a pre-chorus. This is an interlude for the verse, therefore it's a pre-verse and I'm gonna assign it its own song part. Cool. Is anyone yawning, Anthony, or is it, I don't know. Is, uh, has anyone said, yeah, this rocks? Oh, John. John's obviously into this, which is cool. So there's my official song. Here's two song revolutions. One has an eight bar intro. One has a four bar interlude. We're almost at 50 people, man. I think, I think it's good. Oh, fantastic. That's fantastic, man. That's kind of 
makes me feel pretty good because we were at we were in the fifties like a couple months ago when we were first starting. Donation from Peaches. Oh, Peaches. Five dollars. Well, that's funny. I called Peaches by her first name once, and uh, she said, "You can call me Peaches." And I was like, "All right." <laughs> she sent me an email. So Peaches. Um, I don't think this is your first donation because we email back and forth. Whenever someone donates to me, I, you know, I'm not too good for anybody. I always email them, and and I saw her name in the email, and I and I wrote her name. I said hello, uh, fill in the blank, Mad Libs, and uh, she replied with, "You can just call me Peaches." So and she's fantastic, and she has high morale, and um, I mean, she's so encouraging. So Peaches, thank you so much. You're, a, I think she's where you are, Anthony. I. Believe she's out in Arizona or New Mexico, or I'm getting a West Coast vibe or something like that. So, Peaches, thank you so much. And I haven't seen your fantastic comments in a little while. It makes my day that you're still coming back, and, and I appreciate your company. That's right. That's right. All right. Thank you, Peaches. I really appreciate it. Uh, the support's a big deal, uh, even though I have. Oh, I forgot to drop this. This shows you how focused I am. I just want to get to work and be an introvert today, but I passed 15K subs, which is fantastic. Um, of course, I led into that by saying I still don't make a profit doing all this work I do. So when someone just gives me five bucks or 10 bucks, it's actually a big deal uh, when you're making that. So thank you guys so much. Uh, me just not paying expenses out of my pocket, it's a, it's a huge help. Thank you so much. Am I on the right screen? Yes, I am. All right, let's keep going. So yeah, yeah, um, we're done with easy keys for the moment. There's our song structure. The only difference is our intro is twice as long than our interlude. And then we, let's put a rhythm section behind this and see if uh, we can make this actually feel good. Uh, take note, I've completely unscripted. I, don't, I haven't even heard that before. I only heard a, a measure or two of each groove. I haven't even heard it in its entirety. That's how much I don't give an F, right? just get stuff done get stuff on the canvas man it's it's more fun playing producer later and putting the labor hours into playing producer as opposed to putting labor hours into i need to compose perfectly you know you really lose your morale i do you might not but i really lose my morale when i churn a lot of energy at something that i don't even know the end product goal yet anyway so what are you churning your energy at just get some stuff out there and let it hopefully envelop in front of you and then you get inspired and you run at it you know so i don't know if that makes sense and if i just did too much acid as a teenager but that makes a lot of sense to me let's get easy drummer up here and um let me put the chat ads up for a second i need a sip of water and i gotta cough <clears throat> real soon real soon it's not working today. There we go. I'll, I'll break back, guys. I just want some. All right. Oh, yeah. I was going out on a limb saying the acid joke. It's actually not a joke. I did a lot of acid as a teenager, which was fantastic at the time. But man, I think it uh, extracted a lot of emotions and maybe too serious of a person when you experiment with stuff too much. So if, <laughs> if you're like, I want to be like Judy and take some acid, don't. Uh, it's uh, short thrills, not good in the long end. It's probably why I'm so take myself really seriously. Or, you know, <laughs> let's just start talking about drugs right um 
you know, I'm definitely an emotional being. I'm a cancer, if you even believe in the astrology stuff. It's kind of been debunked. But I do have the attributes of a cancer. And, uh, oh, yeah, I got super emotions. But, man, I got a thick coat on the outside, man. And I wonder if uh, uh, hallucinogenics not used in the correct way, not in a uh, therapeutic way, uh, well, might have been pretty destructive, especially since it didn't grow from the earth. Someone made it in their bathtub. That shit's bad. Don't do that. Okay? But it was a good time. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, there was one other. I was, I was, I was clearing my throat and having some coffee. I was reading the comments. Yeah, Scalar Two is fantastic, uh, Tony. Um, I'm so busy just trying to keep the tune track content coming because you, if I put out a Scalar Two video, YouTube, I'll get 10 hits. YouTube won't even allow the algorithm won't even allow me to get a successful video on something non tune track. YouTube really boxes creators in once they find a niche. It's a pain in the butt. Um, I've only clocked so many hours on it, but it's amazing because I watch a lot of tutorials on it. And um, when I start getting decent at it, I'll start it incorporating it with my tune track stuff. So uh, it's not right around the corner, but it's coming soon. I agree. It's a, a fantastic uh, program, especially when it comes to like Easy Keys 2 is... Um, <clears throat> Tune track in general, the composing tools are what's most attractive. Luckily, the sounds sound good too, but it's the composing tools. And Scalar too is has that market as well, in case you guys don't know what it is. Not very expensive too. Um, it's somewhere in the $200 area. So, do two. Member for five months? Can you even pay for, for membership up front like that? Where did that go? Am I reading the right part of chat? Let me put it up on screen so you guys don't think I'm crazy. Because I have chat on my um, on my streaming computer, too. It's way less organized. Uh, just so you guys are confused. i got to get back to the show. But let me just commit to what I was uh, doing here. Do, 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 do. Where, where was that message? Oh, message retracted. <laughs> my, my French speaking buddy. All right. Let's get to it. Let's get on it. Background music? No. We're clean. All right. Um... So I like to resize my DAW to a really particular area. And if you look in the live chat, um, you'll know specifically why I position my products exactly where I do. It's in that DAW frustrations video. So that's a really valuable video. Lots of good feedback. Let's let's use the signature um, part one Easy X, which is brand new today. Um, I, we may or may not use the MIDI, but let's use the sounds just because it's new and maybe people want to hear it. Not that we're really focused only on drums today. <clears throat> there comes a burp. What was I just thinking? Oh, yeah. Let's get our... Uh, I think it's just one on the keyboard. We'll do markers. Yep. Reaper's cool like that. Number keys will just get you to your correct number marker. As long as you're selected off of your tune track product, the key commands will, will register back there. And we're at 70 BPMs. We're at 68. All right. If amateurs, this is for my, for amateurs that are, comments like this will just boost you up real fast and, and fix your problems much faster. Slow tempos means less drum hits in linear time, typically. And when you have less drum hits in linear time, there's a better phrase than that, but that makes sense. Um, when there's less hits in linear time, that leads much, leaves much more space in between hits. And when you have a lot more space in between hits, that means that's a good time to pour effects on. When you play fast, ugh, effects, you want to pull them back because there's less time to let it breathe. But now that we're at a slow tempo, it's a good time for ambience of a room, push that up, or artificial reverb effects. Yeah, it's a good time for that stuff because the time in between one hit and the next hit, there's so much more time there at a slow tempo. You want to hear that drum decay over that time, you know? So so without even spending much time on tones at all, because this is about building a song, let's just pick a preset that implies that it's wet. Wet meaning um, a lot of uh, effects and dry meaning no effects. We're going to go for wet. White opal, white opal. I just did a video on this. I'm so scatterbrained. I forget which one's which. Let's pick a white opal alt one reverb. And let me just tap on it, make sure there's some ambience there, and we'll move on. Ooh. 
Yeah, I think I said at the earlier video, all I did was hit the toms, and I was like, yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. This, this, it is good. It's pretty cool. Um, it, very subjective. You can disagree. No problem at all. But um, let's... It, 70 is slow for a rock metal dude like myself, so let's wet it up a little more. We have chamber and... Oh, well, let's loop a beat. I don't even know what beat that is. Who cares? Just want to hear a backbeat. Chamber. Woo! Michael Ilbert. It's like I'm looking for a sound like we have a drum kit in the Grand Canyon except we put a roof over it. That I'm going for that. You like? What do you think about this, Michael? Yes, that works. All right, that's cool. Uh, plate verb, too. All right, and then I'm double-clicking on these faders after I toy with them just to get them back to the defaults. Either my playback's off, or that is very stereo reverb, and it's heavier in the right ear. I'll have to watch the stream later if I remember and, and check that out. It's weird the Yeah, because the mix sounds balanced except for the verb. It's like... Alright, whatever. Alright, yeah, that's wet. Let's use that. Bye-bye. Actually, I need you back. Um, What do I want to do? Oh, we have an intro to work on. Remember, I we found the intro in Easy Keys and we put it on marker one at measure nine. So now I'm not hitting play in my song tracks anymore because now I finally have an instrument laid out. So I'm probably going to start just hitting regular space bar now to trigger my DAW to give me Easy Keys while I'm focused on composing and producing an Easy Drummer, okay? Let's do it. I hope you guys are getting something out of this. And thank you so much for showing up. Uh, I love it when I got company, especially you, Anthony. Anthony come, has come every month for four months, maybe five months. You know, busy dude, got a family, got a career, got BS to deal with, man. He's a good buddy. So I posted his link earlier at the top of the chat. Uh, uh, so click on it and give him a like. And thank you so much for being here, Anthony. Um, all right, so we have this intro keys here. Jim Cousy donated 10 euros. Anthony, how is the euro doing versus the dollar right now? Because <laughs> this might actually be 11 USD, or it's nine. How's, how's the USD doing right now? <laughs> oh, shit. Jim, you've been fantastic probably for like the past year or so. Oh, I hope I don't mess this up. From Belgium, speaks French, right? Almost a oh, I'm profiting off the euro right now as we speak. <clears throat> oh man, I suck at playing with my fingers, but all right, that's a little pretty woman for Jim. Just wanted to romance you just a little bit, sweetie. Thank you so much, Jim. You've been so polite to me. Uh, we've exchanged emails as well, so we've chatted a bit. So I really appreciate when you come back. And you're actually active on my videos. You don't just show up now and then, man. Like, you're really getting the grind on, getting this stuff down. So I want to encourage you to keep it going. And I want to thank you for supporting me and the channel, dude. Rock on. All right, we got this slow-ass piano verse. And let's be dramatic. Let's let's let it that open the song. Let's hear how this verse comes in. I'm watching my CTI up here. It's going into verse one. Uh, CTI is really old person's uh, term for playhead uh, current time indicator. It's kind of it's really small, so you might not see it if you're not watching full screen on your computer. Jim, you rock, dude. Thank you. All right, maybe let's do a couple little tasteful hits halfway through that just to say, hey, this isn't just a piano um, acapella solo thing. Like, the rhythm section is here, so don't worry. It won't be that boring. So let's just add a little hit so when someone hits play on this song, they're not like, so, uh, 
how long is this song? How long do I have to stand here for? So let's introduce some drums around 11, which is halfway through that eight measure intro lick. But, you know, oh, my members, like Jim, Jim's a member. Man, I covered the absolute crap out of the grooves tab. And uh, it's something to take note of, man. I went crazy on. If you want to be a master at this tab, it looks like an Excel sheet. This is the most powerful tab in Easy Drummer. It, it, it doesn't have to be your favorite. Fanmate might be your favorite. as It's a lot of people's favorite, but it is not the most powerful. This is the most powerful tab. Um, I don't even want to go get the link. I have a playlist just for this tab. I talk about it endlessly. But um, for my members only, I did a video that defines every single filter. I thought that was a little too boring to go public, but because I made that video, man, I can really make some uh, articulate decisions right now that I know what every single filter means and I know which ones are just a waste of time and which ones are not. So that's my members video. Uh, Anthony, plug my members link for me pretty please. I'd appreciate it. So I almost want to try a brushes kit, but I don't uh, compose produce with brushes often, so I don't want to make an ass of myself live. I'd rather do that on my own time. A cymbal swell might be a good idea. Um, I don't want to do mallets either. That might be a good idea for the soft, slow stuff. So that might be where you want to go if you're following along in Easy Keys doing something similar to me. Uh, polyrhythmic, that's only metal. Uh, well, not in the real world, but for tune track, it's only metal. Like I said, that filters video I made, very good info if you can put yourself through the 30 minutes of me just blah, 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 blah. But um, snare roll might be cool. Twist. <laughs> Yeah, that'll, that'll spice this song up. Um, all right, here's something I've never... All right, no, this is a good idea. I wonder if this will work. The march is like snare work, and it's weird because that metadata march makes me think of like a parade band. People are walking and... You know, it's just doing like really obvious um, snare roll hits that a marching band would perform to. But um, I've... I've noticed because of that video I made for my members, um, there's actually some non big band, not big band, marching band snare work in there. So let's just see if maybe if we grab something like that and pump the dynamics way down, it'll feel like a little soft, you know, romantic moment having dinner with your drummer, except he's chilled out. You know, he's taken uh, not some acid, but uh, a lewd man. All right. So I've selected March. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to select 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. It's a little strong for what I want, but that's that, that seems like what I was talking about. Let's keep in mind the tempos over here. Like this beat was not meant to be played back at uh, 68, but maybe this one is meant to be played back at 65. Maybe this little pocket will be better for what we're doing. Nope. <laughs> Let's go through them. Again, I'm looking at the dots, so I really don't feel like I have to audition entire grooves. I can kind of just look ahead and forward think, you know? What time we got? Oh, fuck. 30 minutes. Go, 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 go. Come on. I might bail out of this idea. I thought it was a cool idea. Something like that. Maybe a little less busy. I'll start real quick just so I can... All right, we can get something out of this. <laughs> oh, that's so close, except the 30 seconds in there is too much. I can edit this stuff, but let's keep... Let's not get too advanced today. Remember, you got to do your best to be able to have in mind what we're working. Oh, psh. <laughs> I need to watch my own videos and take my own advice. Creepus. Um, audition. Man, I was just wasting, I was just wasting a lot of my time. 
maybe your time too, but uh, maybe not a waste of your time because maybe it'll help you remember this lesson I'm about to tell you right now. Where's the chat? Oh, audition trick. Dude, I should have been... This is like my number one Apple box preaching propaganda that I that I teach all the time. I should have been auditioning live to my DAW. Here's a loop point. I'm only doing the second two measures. I need to hurry up. Maybe it's not full song today, guys. Uh, loop needs to be enabled. Bam. Easy drama three. All right, let's work faster and smarter. Use the audition trick. The link is in the live chat. Here we go. See, that does that does sound appropriate. It's a little heavy handed. It does. Let's let's check out the one I start earlier. See, I wouldn't even have to use the star system. I could have made the call right then if I was using the audition trick. I don't like the 30 seconds in it, but it's really close. And I could just use edit playstyle and dial those back. But let's see what we got now that we're doing the audition trick. Woo! Nah, 30 seconds. That's... That's the beat. I just want those fast rolls out at the end. Let's start that. There's a good, cool quarter note on that closed hi-hat, too. That, that helps you keep track of where the downbeat and the backbeat is. I've never used the March filter before. I've only talked about it and explained it. This is pretty cool, actually. Ooh. That's it, except that open hi-hat's way too distracting. Bam. Double click. I gotta move faster. I gotta go to work. Uh, I gotta leave for work in uh, 55 minutes, so I gotta end the stream in 25. Let's. Oh man, I wanted to get to Easy Bass because Easy Bass is so challenging, man. Easy Bass is not an easy program, and I need to start using it more in front of my subs because they want that. But I don't get any hits. I don't get any pats on the back for doing that so i gotta find my time to fit easy bass in right now would be a good time let me see if i can fly through this so we can do a little bit of easy bass stuff because a lot of people ask me to do it oh yeah i want to take this open hi-hat out i double clicked the groove and launched it into a grid editor i'm gonna highlight the high this uh blah, 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 highlight track let's see where that is maybe i either want to delete it or maybe i'll just change the instrument let's listen Well, let's just try and turn it down. Uh, velocity. Let's hear it. Good. And I want the velocity for everything to come down, but I want that hi-hat to drop big time, which we did. So here's the whole beat coming down. I mean, I'm no expert at composing ballad but that feels good to me the hot now that i brought the whole beat down the hi-hats popping out a bit i'm going to grab it i'm going to bring it down a little bit look um if i select an entire row in the grid editor which is a single instrument per row and i have my velocity lane opened up it will automatically select every beat in that groove every single beat every single note in that groove that pertains to the lane I selected. So I can do real broad velocity strokes fast. If you didn't notice, that's what I've been doing. If you notice, that's what I've been doing. If you didn't notice, I'm, that's why I'm explaining it to you. I don't want you to miss that part, okay? So grabbing the hi-hat, selecting the entire lane for the whole groove, every hi-hat selected, I uh, uncollapse the velocity lane, and now I can grab them all and bring them down collectively. Let's hear it. Ooh. All right, let's see if this actually works because now it has to enter out of the blue and this might suck and maybe I'll end the stream in failure. Whoops. Uh, let's pre-roll because I want to hear the idea again. Let's 
Let's go to 10 so I can hear the bass notes on the keys playing as well. I like that. I like that. It's the piano pickup note makes it less abrupt. There's like a, an eighth note that hits right before this comes in. Oh, listen to that eighth note. That helps this drum just knock in. And plus, we'll just have the bass hit the root note right there. And it'll just seem like the whole band did that on purpose. We just don't know yet. The bass isn't there yet. Um... I mean, this might just, whoops, I keep hitting shift S because I think I'm in standalone mode, but I'm not. Um, it might be wishful thinking. I'm like, yeah, this is good enough because I'm live and I'm the people watching, but I, I actually have no problem with that right now. That might be good enough. And if it's just close enough, that's even better because later, you know, we can pull out the iron and we'll look for the wrinkles and we'll just fix it up a little bit later. We probably just won't get to it today. But that beat as a whole, man, that's really a great way to say, hey, you know those long, uh, long ass drawn out piano pads? Blah, blah, blah. Like, here's a, here's a completely different feel. You didn't realize what's happening until we put it down. Now it's like, blah, you can almost snap, snap into a ballroom dance, dude, throw the chick up in the air, spin it around, bring it down, give it a kiss. You know, now we're rocking and rolling. So, all right, let's find another beat. What do we want to do with this, though? Where do I even want to go with this? Let me hear just a taste of the next Easy Keys um, lick, which is the verse. So I think Escape... I'm still learning Reaper. I think Escape will get rid of my loop. Yep, good. Let's start at verse 1, but not right at verse 1. Let's back it up a half a measure so I get a taste of what that intro feels like. And let's hear that new Easy Keys lick. And remember, we're trying to remember the melody we hear before we go back to Easy Drummer. Because if you don't have your your end game product in mind while you're listening to drum beats then you're really just wasting your time and looking for cool drum beats you need to look for drum beats in context that is if you're like me and you're extremely impatient and have very little spare time and you need to work quickly and efficiently that's that's who that advice is for by all means let's hang out all weekend and just enjoy checking shit out right stuff crap here we go A little more pre-roll so I can hear that bass note on the piano pop up. Um, I still have the intro. Here we go. One more. Yeah, I mean... Let's just get a backbeat and let's make the kick and snare have heavier dynamics than the intro because it that can obviously go And if you're not someone who's been in love with drums their whole life and you can't just come up with beats off the top of the head and go, this is what I want, that's okay. That's okay. The audition trick that I posted earlier, you you you've invested in tune track. You have at the minimum, almost 3,000 drum files to just start working with. So just start, if you can't just go, this is what I want, it's in my head, let me go find it. If you can't do that, it's totally all right. Tune Track has more than one workflow. This is why I've dedicated so much time to them because they cover, they're not just sounds, you know? So just use the audition trick and start hammering through your MIDI catalog. And uh, watch my Grooves tab videos if you want to utilize the Grooves tab. You can attempt the Bandmate tab. We're not going to do that today. I've got videos on it. Check out my Bandmate playlist. Crap. 18 minutes. Let's go. Let's go. It's probably good that I'm wired today because... I got a I got a tall order here. I want to do at least one bass line today before we go, just so I just, people want to see it. All right. Oh yeah. So there's the verse. Here's the vibe of the intro. Shift space bar to only hear song track and easy drum three. Well, you know what? Let's be smart. Here's advice I say all the time. Before we just start clicking on filters and thumbing through the eight trillion dollars we've invested in tune track over here on the left. Let's right click on this beat because this is a quality beat. In my opinion, this is a good vibe. Let's go to find and show containing folder because what's a really good idea is sometimes a, a single drummer will do a whole product or sometimes a single drummer will do a couple songs on a product and that guy has a certain feel, right? 
And we can start mixing and matching different drummers because we definitely want this beat and we definitely want that beat and it's two different drummers. We can massage them together and be able to work, but let's optimize. Let's start at the source and let's use the same drummer. And that's what I did. And he just happens to be an independent. This be the first time I ever used the independent product in my life. Oh, I just lost it. Right click, find, select containing folder and grooves. I guess I was waiting for an excuse for this day. Independent. Oh, it's a ballad song. That makes sense. And love is enough. Okay. Love is enough. John Ludwig, love is enough. I'll still take the 10 box, but love is enough. All right, let's rock. All right, so here's the intro. Let's hear what a verse, the intended verse that supposedly comes after this intro, intro for the for the session that Thomas Hedlund did for the independent SDX. Let's see if this verse will work with my verse. This might fast forward us in and just let us plow through, or maybe it sucks and we gotta do some manual work. 16 minutes, get get going. Oh, a little alternate percussion hit. What, what is that this? Oh, that's... <laughs> it, it, I think it draws too much of attention, but it sounds good. The signature uh, part one, Easy X, sounds good. It might be too busy. Do I want ghost notes? Oh. Audition process, people. I'm gonna loop verse one. We gotta move faster, so I'm gonna make a lot of creative sacrifices to get this done before I go. It's kind of unrealistic that I'm even gonna be able to do this making sacrifices. Appreciate y'all being here. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, I'm crying. No, I'm laughing because that tambourine sounds so good, but that is a really not a good idea. Like, uh, it, I mean, unless, I mean, are we making instrumental music? I, I don't. A lot of people do, which is fine. But do we want people to go, there's a tambourine. Look, a tambourine. Oh, there's a tambourine. Do you want people getting that distracted while they're listening to music? No. You want them just to be there experiencing it. You start whacking them in the head with a freaking tambourine. <laughs> it sounds so good though. That verb on that tambourine sounds so good. All right, so let's use this beat and we'll pop the tambourine out. It's, dude, when you have a good song, people aren't distracted by elements of your song. They're just taking it all in, you know? So <laughs> let's get that tambourine out of there. I'll just mute it because I'm in a hurry. Let's see if this works. It has to work because I got to go. Oops, I uh, dragged it over too far. Let's move it here. Make a little fix because I made a boo-boo. Let's check it out. All right, it's, uh, I'm putting it in the first gear and I'm putting the pedal to the floor and we're gonna just chirp 70 miles an hour down the driveway until, um, down the highway until my motor blows. Let's get this done. I got 13 minutes. Um, two, two, two. Pre-chorus. Let's see if the pre-chorus in Love is Enough works for this. It, it honestly, it'd be a shame if it was that easy, but at the same time, I got to get out of here. So hopefully it is that easy. And that's how all your products, projects are going to be. So you, sometimes you got to hold them down and punch them out. And sometimes they just build their self. And that's, that's the beauty of, you know, stumbling upon a good hand of cards and not. Uh, I think I want to just... This is extremely typical trick. I think I want to save the ride for the chorus so we have major contrast for the chorus. So let's try and stay on hats. <laughs> Go away, tambourine. All 
right, this feels great with the ride. Let's swap the ride over to the hi hat. I'm going to select this little tiny triangle next to the, the ride tambourine button. returns. Yeah, it's not going away, dude. Uh, let me just bring the. Yeah, let's bring the power hand over to the hi hat, and then we'll make sure it's closed, which it is. Now let's check this beat out. Whoops. I'm going to do some pre roll for measure 20 so we can hear the transition. Let's rock. Key commands today, man. Getting rusty, guys. Too busy doing product overviews instead of actually uh, being in production. So maybe this stream's good for me as well. Here we go. This works, but I'm gonna go in the grid, grid editor and open up the hi-hat pedal. Shift spacebar. Let's go fast. Right there. Bam. Yep. Where is that? That is, um, let me get the grid down to eighth notes. That's my crutch that helps me look at grids way better. And this is on the end of four. So here's the end of four. I'm going to hold shift or it's control. Let's see. It's shift. There's all my end of fours. Let's, nope, that is not. There we go. That's an and a four, and a four, and a four. Um, this is not creative right now. That first thing is creative, doing secretary work. Like I selected all those by holding shift and clicking on the note I want to edit. And I'm going to drag it down to the open. Let's see if I did this correctly. Pre-roll from 20 so we can hear the transition. And let's rock and roll. I got a P. Let's just do every other one. It's the trick's too obvious. So we'll do every other one. Now I'm shift marquee selecting. Let's check it out. That did it. That was way better. We need a fill here because it's, uh, just go. Stop talking. What time is it? 10 minutes. And I still want to get over to easy bass, guys. <laughs> a little too drawn out. Uh, the audition trick with fills, it's give or take because fills are so short. You kind of feel like you're, you know, you're getting airsick in a helicopter going down in flames because Commando just shot a rocket launcher this big at you, which is obviously made out of PVC piping. He could never lift that himself. Uh, that might work, and, uh, and I might cut it in half. Let's hear that from 19 here. power hand leaves too early uh, whoops I need to hit undo and easy and not in my DAW so I redid twice and now I hit undo my easy and now it's gone let's use just the second half of this uh, shift excuse me control mouse wheel zooms you in so you don't have to waste your time doing this crap uh, possibly command on Mac Oh yeah, that was good. And let's raise the dynamics because you the dynamics are here and the dynamics are here. It's like, it's a stair step. There's no um, gradient. I was trying to think of like how bad the uh, drainage is on my lawn and what that the grade and how I need more money than I'll ever make to fix it. I need that to happen in this song right now from the verse to the pre-chorus. And this is too quiet and it's stair steps instead of a gradient. So let's just, let's see if I can heal it real quick in edit play style and I'll select all instruments and I'll turn the velocity up here and let's just see if we can get this to go up a hair. Let's play back. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. I'm gonna uh, peaceful medium of that. Um, that did most of it. 
here's the fill right here. Now I'm actually going to use this zoom thing because I need to see everything. Where are you, buddy? Oh, my hi-hat lane's expanded. That's why I couldn't see the toms. Yep. So let me just grab these and bring the beginning of it down. So now we got more of a gradient than stair-stepping playback. What time is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me do halfway, and then let me bring this first snare hit down, and that should knock it out. Heck yeah, and you know what? It's it's not the drum dynamic. I'm glad I'm still have my wits about me. I'm not too focused on just dealing with the stream, but I am thinking about the song. The piano's dynamics are crazy right there. Bam, edit play style, dynamics. Let's hear this now, see if we got it. Oh yeah, we'll, we're gonna solve it here. That feels good. Um, I'm not gonna split the difference, I'm just gonna drag it down a hair more. Feels great. Forget the chorus, easy bass. Um, I really wanted to make it to the chorus because I feel like the majority of popular music, not all music, its entire goal, the song structure entire goal is to bring you on a journey and resolve at the chorus. That's why I wanted to make it to the chorus because we want to make that big. But not only do I have to pee, not only would it be nice to chill out and relax for five minutes, but I got to go to work. So let's just uh, get easy bass in here a little bit. Okay. Let's rock and roll. We still got people here, Anthony. All right. Everyone just run away at this point. Hope everybody's doing fantastic today. What's today? Saturday. Hope everybody has a great weekend or um, about 50. Oh, heck yeah, man. 50 people here. You know, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. You know, if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you want to let me have that from you. And that's all you have to do is hit subscribe and you can just chat and say hi, or you can actually ask me a question. We're at the end of the stream, so slim chance I'll be, I'll be able to ask a question. But if it's good enough, I'm easily distracted when I get challenged. I mean, Scott pulled me right out of this whole song stuff. Scott, if I didn't answer your question, you'd be done already. So I do get sidetracked when you challenge me and I have no problem getting my ass kicked and being wrong and saying, hey, let's look into that in the future. So hit the subscribe button. You instantly can chat and just say hi or say thank you or tell me to go. You can be the first person I ever ban if you want. Say something really bad. All right, Sean, get your ass together. Marker one. Here's the intro, right? And the drums came in at 11. Oh, crap. All right. Easy keys. So in the future, I'm predicting, this is obvious in the future, what I could do is I could save this Easy Keys product project right out of my plugin. It's time to go. No, it's not time to go. Good, good. Save a project. Even though we're in a DAW, we can still save locally, our work locally uh, as standalone, okay? Let's put this on my desktop and I'll call this uh, ballad... Um, chord chart. Um, not even thinking about it, but that makes sense to me. So I saved all this work, all my settings in Easy Keys as valid chord chart on my desktop. I'll close this and I'll open up Easy Bass. And if you go into File, Edit, Track, Track, Import Chords from Easy Keys Project. What a fantastic thing, man. I can just import that stuff right in here and have and, and have a head start. If it only worked for Easy Keys 2, <laughs> that doesn't work yet. Um, so let, let's look forward to them adding that because they're crazy. If they don't, they're probably just swamped dealing with, you know, a release of a new project uh, product. So we'll see that soon. So we can't do that. So I want to make Easy Bass small. Made it too small. Come on. I like to explain, over explain stuff just to make sure everyone understands, but that's hurting me right now. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna pin this. 
Here's easy keys. Let's make this tiny as well. Let me just do it, go into settings. Dude, it's so fast just to go into settings, generals, reset, reset scale and size. <laughs> Um, a lot of people complain about getting stuck in a certain zoom mode, zoomed in too much, can't control anything. That's how you get out of it. Settings, general, re reset. Billy Blaze, $20 donation. Billy, was Billy even here? <laughs> Did you show up late to the party, man? I know I missed you last month too, man. I so appreciate it. I don't even have time for your humor today, but I definitely got time to thank you so much. Oh, man. Well, stop being so funny and, and actually hurt my feelings. And I'll, and I'll, actually, I probably wouldn't even ban you, but you're going to have to say some, like, really prejudiced stuff for me to ban you. But I don't know. So, yeah, you're going to have to go that far and don't, because I love you, man. Thank you so much. Uh, Billy's been hanging out for a while now, maybe two years now. And, um, you know, he swings in uh, with great support and great compliments. But more than that, he you know, there's always one in the crowd. He's the C-3PO, man. He co always comes in with the comic relief. Dude, thank you so much. I'm actually near the end of the stream. I got to keep going. But, dude, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Billy Blaze. I bet you bought like eight guitars since I talked to you last. All right, so that import doesn't work. I'm going to select this entire song track. Drag it over here so you can see it. I'm going to zoom out. Right-click in a blank area. I'm going to select all up here. Remember, we're going to measure nine. Yeah, so I'll just drag this over to measure nine. So there you go. And unfortunately, it shows up as one big turd. I'm going to undo that. We can stay more organized than this. I'm going to undo that. Let's just do uh, one part at a time. This, uh, this will at least help us get better visual. And we made it up to the chorus. We're not going to make it far, but let's do one bass line before we go. Goodbye, Easy Keys. Nice knowing you. Have a nice day. I'm going to re... Uh, set this up to my preference, which is covered in my DAW frustrations video posted at the very early of the stream in the live chat. If you're watching this in a future date and you want to know about all those links I'm talking about, just make sure you look for a button and pop out the live chat. It's not the regular comment section below. There's a live chat. And I'm going to delete this because the drums aren't playing yet. And what do we do? We came in on um, start mission 11. Yeah. So, uh, Easy, it might sound a little dissonant. Easy bass is playing full chords. We don't want that. You know what? Let's just, for this one block, let's uh, uh, grid editor it, and then we'll uh, we'll be serious about this one. Fuck. Uh, being late for work is not good. Um, boom. What are we in? F major? All right. Great. And I want an octave up than that. Um, C, D, E, F. Here's my F. That is an end note. C, D, E. Oh, well, the first chord's not an F. Yeah, it's a C. Whew. I'm so grateful I didn't run into a huge roadblock right there. It's good to look down now and then make sure you, it'll just tell you what note it is. Yeah, great. All right, uh, C, D. So let's bump these out of here. Um, this isn't standard operating procedure, but this is so easy. I just want four root notes. Let's just get four root notes. Uh, that B flat. Oh, it's already, I already have a B flat there. I'm going to undo because I nudged it. Bam, bam, bam. Let's make sure there's no other notes hanging out because there's full chords. No, it, it looks good. Oh, yeah, they are. They're right there. Glad I looked, man. Watch your back, people. Watch your six. Um, it would have been weird to go, you know, where's that dissonance coming from while you're mixing? I want these to ring out, obviously. All right, um, there's an articulation here. I can tell because it's not completely square, so I'm going to select this and uncheck the articulations. Great. I'm run I'm gonna close this stream so fast. I just want you guys to all know I appreciate you showing up. And honestly, what I want to do is I want to lower the dynamics of this. I want to shorten this and do a slide out to nothing, a slide out, but it takes me a minute to make that slide out work and I'm not gonna put the time in. That's what I would do right now though, okay? Now let's let's let easy bass work for us. Easy bass is not a 
an easy program. It really isn't unless you're just willing to only use it stock MIDI as is. After that, you got to put work into it, which is okay. It's an amazing program. But um, we're going to use one of the, the tricks that's really fantastic. It's the audition trick, but it's for easy bass. And it's really hit or miss, but um, I've, I've got good luck when I'm live. I'm not always this lucky when I work live on my own. I usually have good luck when I'm live. Let's see if I got that luck today. I so instinctively hit control S all day long. That's why that keeps popping up. And since I haven't saved this project yet, that's why that dialog box keeps popping out. Uh, let's get my marker on right here. Woo, some dissonance there. Um, we're in four, four. And is that the, all the criteria I want? What? I didn't even do tones today. I should have picked a more ambient easy keys to tone and I don't know what tone I want to hear but let me just pull gospel up it the gospel is pretty cool because there's no pick articulation but there's a finger articulation and there's a thumb articulation and I don't know and since this is so it's kind of mute and chill so without even hearing it let's just do that for now actually let's not do a di let's do uh let's do deep and punchy which I already know out of the gate will be too bassy so I'm going to drop the bass a little let's get back to work um, on the grooves tab and acoustic, you know what? Let's just see if, all right. Acoustic has a straight four, four. Let's just, uh, Scott said, roll the dice earlier. Um, he meant something else, but I'm just going to grab that term. I'm rolling the dice. Just see if there's something in here. Cause I gotta go. Okay. My work alarm right there. issues oh did I oh I didn't hit replace MIDI first Whew. glad I caught that we're doing the audition trick up here which you can watch a video on I posted in live chat earlier as you can see this is yellow or orange and so isn't this our keys track that was here is gone we're now hot swapping bass lines out that are being real-time transposed to this key. All stuff I talked about at the beginning of the episode about your pre-production of setting this stuff up first so you have a good experience. Now I'll actually listen to what I'm doing. <laughs> that note doesn't work. The rest of it's pretty good. This note's out of key. Not the right scale. I think I just want to pull this pop out, maybe pull that pop out. Yeah, well, it's time to go. So yes, this is what we're working with. Let's pretend this is the prime thing. I'll hit save changes, double click to get it up in the grid editor. What is it? A little harmonic in there somewhere? This guy? All right, goodbye. By all means, keep that stuff. If you want that stuff, you got to step back from your project and go, am I writing good songs or do I want flashy crap from rhythm section instruments to draw attention away from the song? You got to, one of these days, you got to have that conversation with yourself. That's flashy crap. That could, that could definitely work, but we're in the verse, the vocal singing, you get the F out of the way of the vocal if you're a songwriter, okay? Now, if you're doing progressive stuff and you got licks and all that stuff, this is a different conversation. You don't have to take my advice too seriously. Let's rock. Let's uh, let's move up a little pre-roll. What is this? Yeah. <laughs> that should be that note right there. And is the pickup note right? Yep. All right. We're just about there. Let's pr play back from 15. That was a cute, cool slide. It was way too aggressive. Um, it goes too low before it comes back up. It feels artificial. We could just try and adjust the slide speed. I'm, you can't see it. Here we go. The slide speed, you right click on the bar of the slide, go down to the bottom, slide speed, accelerating. It, this'll be a, a less aggressive drop in tone. Right here. 
that was pretty good. It, let's get it to drop out so there's a rest in here. And let me do pre-roll from 16 instead. Yeah. All right, this is something I got to tweak. I'd probably turn snap off right here and I'd probably start dragging this around because you know, when you do slides that kind of go down to the nut of, of your string instrument, that's typically not, you don't stop on a dime. You just having a feel of, of falling off gracefully. And I would turn uh, snap off and find that. Let me just make sure there's not any more obviously sour notes. That's what I would do there. I'm not doing that right now. And I might not slide down so far, you know. Um, we're in F. F is not a key I've memorized off the top of my head. I'd find a note that is still in the key of F and maybe not do such a fall drop off, okay? Let's play back from 17. Glenn, you just donated to me somewhere, not on the stream. Thank you so much, man. You're probably watching live. Thank you so much, man. I, I'm actually ending this, this stream at this very moment, so I can't hang with you too much, but thank you so much for your support. Everybody, I gotta go to work. Anthony, can you drop links for me? I love you. Thank you so much. That We had 50 for a while today. I had a couple donations. Uh, some people I haven't seen in a month or two coming back. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the UV, the Shooty School. I love you guys very much, and uh, come check out my content, man. I am pumping it out nonstop. Peace, rock on, and thank you so much for lighting up chat. That is really the biggest help. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.